G'day guys, Will Kitchen here. Just a really quick message before we start. This is a really, really good video with some great tips in it and some great fishing. But at the end of this video, I hook the biggest fish that I've ever caught other than a marlin. So stay tuned right to the end and uh, yeah, enjoy the video. We'll get straight to the intro. Welcome back to another video. Now we're out offshore. Um, if you watched my last video, we got a couple of snapper and we were really happy about that because we had not been offshore fishing for a long time. Um, this year we've not been able to do much fishing at all in general so we're really happy to be out here today we're going to be chasing a few more snapper and hopefully some reefies we're off the sunshine coast today so we're in with a chance of some grassy sweet lip uh, tusk fish and you know some other pretty cool species so we're going to use a, a fair few techniques of soft plastics dead baits live baits um, yeah hopefully we can put a feed together so earlier this morning we came out right on first light and oh, uh, hey, hey, hey. you go. Yeah. That's all right. That's a good fish. Yeah. Get into it. Uh, intro will be resumed soon. Bring right there. He's all right. Yeah. Just lift. You might make it. Just measure him. Just a little panty on the plastic, everybody. That little pink plastic <laughs> again. <laughs> So as I was saying before I was rudely interrupted by dad catching that snapper, that was just legal by the way, so that's alright, they're all tasty. Uh, this morning we started off at first light and thought here we go, we're going to get a, a snapper for sure, but no, there was plenty of bait and stuff on the sounder where we started off this morning in close, but just couldn't manage a fish. We ended up getting one right at the end before we decided to move spot, so I'll just show you that one now quickly. You're on, plastic. Just turn the cameras off. There's one on the front of the Yeah. Not real big one. No. Yeah, it's a snapper, I think, mate. Right? Off the bottom. Yeah. Not too bad. It'll be legal if it's a snapper. I think it will be. Yeah, not a big one, but I think it'd be legal. Oh, yeah. Long. You good? That's a start for the morning anyway. Finally. <laughs> We're literally just sitting here, about to wind in and move spots. And of course that happens. Nothing on the sounder. That's all right. Yeah, no, he's all right. Not a giant, but... On the plastic, it's out fish the bait the last couple of trips. They love those little pink plastics. There's a, there's a sneaky tip for you, the snapper. Yeah, not bad at all. Talk to you a little bit more about what we're doing in a second, but um, we'll bleed this guy, get him in the esky, and um, yeah, decide what we're going to do. As I said, we were just about to move spots, but anyway, we'll deal with this guy. So that's a lovely eating size snapper there. I'll just use this tool, the icky pick. So uh, we look after our fish when we're going to eat them, we respect them. Um, you know, we've brain spiked that so it kills it instantly, makes sure there's no stress and uh, makes that flesh better for eating. Less lactic acid as well, I think. And we're also about to bleed it straight away and get it straight on ice. If you haven't checked out the icky pick, that's a great tool. Really thin and sharp, really strong, so it goes straight into that brain. We'll deal with this one and yeah, the icky pick, check them out. So that was a good little way to, to kick it off. The plastic, absolutely love it. So after that, we came to this new spot. The sun was up, but you know, we got a tide change coming up. We thought they'll still be biting, hopefully. Uh, and the first cast got an undersized snapper. Second cast, the plastic went screaming off and check this out. That's a good fish. Yep. Put 
please stay up. That is going. Come on. Come on. Here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. Yeah. It's a snap, I think. Goodness me. Goodness me. That's the one. I thought he wasn't gonna stop for a second. Every time you go to do something on this boat, I'm just gonna tie another rig up for another rod and um, bang. That's what we want. Yeah. I think I might chuck that plastic back out. Yep, get it straight out while we're dealing with that before. I had a bite just when uh, well there you go guys that's that plastic we just got it on once again the trusty three inch dead man in that pink color i'm just going to check the leader it's all good i'm going to get that straight back out and i'll show you this fish you know what it was i put the lucky fishing hat on as we move spots and um, he smashed it but I've explained that soft plastic technique we use a few times but pretty much it's just a slow drop um, light jig head floating it down through the water column and there's been some really good shows on the sounder we're currently jigging up a few live yakkers and um, you know we got a little snapper there before first cast and then next cast with the plastic another snapper so so far this morning that's a plastic 2-0 it's got two fish the bait has got none so far so anyway I'm going to uh, deal with this one and get straight back into them, hopefully. All right. So that was a really good fish. Now you're joining us here, and we're going to go back up to the mark and have a bit of a sound around. Um, it's a little bit slow here, but we're just going to grind it out and try and get some more snapper because they are really good fun. And um, that's three to the plastic now, zero to bait. So that's interesting for you. But anyway, they love those little pink plastics. So anyway, got the lucky fishing hat on. We're going to go try and find some. Stay tuned. So what's happened guys? I mean uh, we just we moved out a little bit deeper. So we're in about 40 meters of water here. What's happened is we just pulled up on a mark we had, looked like a pretty flat bottom, a little bit of reef. And uh, there wasn't much happening at all. This is our first drift, but we weren't very uh, you know, we weren't thinking much was gonna happen, but we've just come across a little show and i said that looks like a good show with some better fish in it dad's dropped down right on their heads a pilly and on the drop it's been slammed and really hit it hard so hopefully this is a decent snapper he smacked it A nice fish. Woohoo! No wonder he smacked you on the drop. Mm. Okay, guys, we'll hold that snapper up for you in a second, but I just thought I'd let this part of the video play through because I think it's really funny. So, as you can see, I'm getting dad's fish off, and he's seeing on the sounder that there's fish everywhere, and he just couldn't resist. He grabbed my rod and dropped a bait down, and in typical dad fashion, he hooks up. So, I'll fast forward so you know I'm not kidding. The very next drop, he hooks up again.
Oh, look at that. Oh, there was another one there. Go on. Yep. yep. You should yeah, see we'll, the show. We'll, yeah. No, you get it, you get it. You're doing it. Good fish. That is screaming off. I was just about to say there's another great show. Did you get that on a pillar again? Yeah. I'm just going to put one yeah, on and... Yeah, drop one down mate. Well, that bait's good. Yeah, just start rolling it down. Yeah. Got this time. Now, as you may be able to guess, guys, Dad wasn't exactly happy about losing that snapper and he wanted some revenge. So I hand him over the pillar that I'd just put on and he drops that down. Three drops in a row, he gets hit again. I guess this makes up for all that time he spent baiting my hooks up when I was a kid. Yeah, lower this one down while I sort yours out. You need a new bag of pins. Yeah. I wonder if I can drop that down next time. That was a good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Not as good. Yeah. Right. Just keep the tension on. Yeah. You go. I'm, I'm, I'm dropping down. But I'm, I'm dropping. Not as good as that last one. Yeah. So there we go guys, there's that nice one that dad got and the next drop, he dropped one on my rod even bigger than that. So um, it was absolutely screaming off sadly. But anyway, we're trying to find him again. We just went back up the same drift line and they weren't there. So anyway, hopefully we can find him again because that was good fishing. We also got another smaller one there as you probably would have seen, but yeah, it's mayhem when they come on because as we might be about to find out, they can shut down pretty quick too. But anyway, we'll try and find him again. So, I just thought I'd show you how we rig our uh, our baits up. So we're using pilchards today. You can use whole squid, um, fillet baits like a strip of a yakka. Pretty much, we've got a snell ball sinker running straight on top. So you can either put it through the eye or that hard bit just in front of the, the eye there in the nose. And then the second hook, gonna come around, line it up. You don't want that to be tight, pulling that front hook. So you want a tiny bit of slack in that line between your hooks and you're just going to go straight through the back there bang make sure you've got some hook exposure that sits straight like that and you're just going to slowly float that down hopefully get hit on the drop and if not hopefully pick up some sort of snapper or reefy down on the bottom yeah this could be um yeah. On the wind up. Yep, well done, Will. On the wind up. Yep, well done, Will. Yep, good yep. fish. Good fish. Yep. Wind up a bit there if you're on the bottom. No, I'm not on the bottom. Okay, hopefully you get one too. He'll be alright this one. Yeah. At least he just smashed him today. Yeah. So that one guys, I got to the bottom and I saw on the sound or a school something come through and I wanted my bait to be dropping on their head so I was gonna wind up and drop it down but as I started to wind up this grabbed it so here he comes. Yeah, snap. nice snap. Nice snap. Yeah, nice snapper. <laughs> One hook in him. Yep. Nice right, snap he's alright. Oh, that just broke. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Good snapper, mate. Well done. Oh, that was on the wind up. Yeah. Crazy. There's another cracker, guys. So yeah, they're very good fish. Can't complain with that. They're going really hard, pulling drag, absolutely smashing our baits. And uh, yeah, good solid fish, fired up. And uh, the other thing is they're gonna be absolutely delicious. These are the perfect eating size. So anyway, as I said, we tried to find them again. Um, we went straight back up the, the uh, drift line that we were doing. We marked where we got those fish the first drift. 
and this one was sort of in the same area there was a, a little bit of a school came through as i said i actually wound up off the bottom and they hit it so anyway we're going to get straight back into it try and find them again while they're biting before they go off the chew very good so after we landed that fish we were about to go back up for another drift all dad had to do was wind the soft plastic in and he decided to give it a little bit of a jig jig whip before he did and of course something grabs it and starts screaming off we were only using 12 pound braid so pay attention to this fight because you might get some tips for when you have to chase a fish for yourself one day did have enough earlier on this one yeah Nice one, Will. Yeah. Come on. Oh! <laughs> that smacked it! Do you want me to chase that? I don't know if this is not. I think it's a snap on you. I don't know what it is. I'm not sure what it is. It's a phobia, I think. I don't know what it is. Just go easy on them. Just go easy. If it's a snap, it is a dog. You need me to chase it? No. I might just start the boat in case. Huh? No. I'm just going to chase it because there's not much no. line on that reel. Oh, I see. He's gone. No. no. Should I tighten it a bit, you think? No. Just leave it like that. Just wind as I go towards it. Oh, Just take it easy. Yeah, you're right, you're right. Get some line on it. We'll get him, we'll get him. I can so much. No, I just... That's it, get some line back. I don't know what it is, but... And it's a snapper, it's a good one. <laughs> if it's a snapper, it's, it's a metre long. Like it's not... Around your right a bit. Yeah. Just keep getting line back on him. We'll take it easy. we got all day. So you know how I get on here and say we're using 12 pound all the time? Well, that's what we've hooked it on, of course. So, anyway, Dad's getting some line back. Just take it easy, don't shake it around. He's coming. I think it's going to be a cob. Go it's coming up. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's going to be a cob or something, Dad. So. It's coming up, so. Always on the 12 pound. We got 40 pound, 30 pound, 20 pound, and what does it hit? The 12. Yeah. It's a three-inch plastic. <laughs> it's up on the surface now. It's not that far, so just take it easy. We're gonna get this dog. You think of it as a mackerel. Yeah, of yeah. It's coming up again. I'll just get on top of him a bit for you. Right. It's a freaking shark. What? No, or is that just eating your fish? Oh, maybe it did. Yeah, it did. It is. Wind, 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 wind. No, it's not. What is it? What is it? It's a shark. Wind, 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 wind. Oh, you still got your fish. Get the net, get the net, get the net, get the net. Oh, oh it's oh, a mac it's tuna. tuna. It's a dirty tuna and the shark. Oh, it's gone. No. Oh, no. <laughs> what is going on? Oh, it's foul. Look, that's why. <laughs> what the heck? What is going on? Guys, the recommended tackle for Mac Tuna is officially not 12 pound braid. Did you see the size of the shark? Yeah. The shark still dip down here, Will, so is that it? put your hand in the water. Yeah. Mac Tuna. Just. Oh, um, the shark's just. Yeah, there. yeah, I can see the shark. You can just get, don't put your hand in the water. No, it's way down there. Oh, bugger me. I don't know if that tune is going to be real good. EBE got knocked up a bit by old Bronzy. Don't oh, know, he'll be right. Oh, 
didn't, it didn't have a kick because it was hooked around its gills. Yeah. Ah. Oh. And then when it come up, I thought it was a comb. There you go, guys. You're going to have to swim fast. <laughs> hope everyone saw that shark on him. Yeah. Well, I got it on GoPro. All right. Going to send it straight back so it tries, uh, has a chance to survive. Well, it's got a few battle scars on the tail. Where's the shark? Just out the back of the boat. Yeah, I'll just drive a bit. I'm just going to scoot up here and spear him. Oops, sorry. Good luck, Mel. Good luck, you want to go? He's good, he's swimming. Yeah. Oh. I don't know how the shark didn't get him. Oh, bugger me. Get back to the snapper. Back, <laughs> back to the snapper, <laughs> after all that. <laughs> Bloody Mac tuna. <laughs> all right, guys, so what we're doing today to try and look for fish, um, you know, you don't want to be fishing blind out here. So we have a few general marks of um you know your your popular reefs that everyone knows of and over time we've uh, found little uh spots around that whether it's structure or bait schools or actual fish themselves you know we've got little marks where we've caught fish before so we go check all of those um you know we look for some bait or or fish on the sounder um, if not we'll pull up and just have a drift through that area and often you'll drift over a school um, usually bait and that's what ended up happening when we got those snapper before when it went absolutely crazy for a couple of drifts um, you know we pulled up at a, a different mark again looking for fish it had been a slow morning and um, yeah pulled up thought oh this looks a little bit dead next minute we just drifted onto them um, so now we've we've marked those areas and that's what we're fishing we're just going back looking for bait schools around there um, and yeah, picking off the snapper one by one now. We're doing pretty well. Try and get one more. I'll keep talking to you about what we're doing. Yeah, I'm just looking for them now on the sounder, driving back up for another drift. It's going all right, whatever it is. Yeah, he's having a dig. Yeah. I'm going sweetie. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's going a bit like a sweetie. Fought like a sweetie down near the bottom, and yeah. but it's still going though. That's the thing. Get the net. It's a good fish. Snap. Yeah. 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 It is good. Yeah. Nice. Another nice one. Yep. Good day, Kim. Oh, happy days. That literally hit the bottom. That's the first one we've got down there. That literally hit the bottom and it went dunk, and he just come and picked it up. There you go, guys. Got another nice one for you. As you can see there in the side, he's got that top hook in his jaw, and that other one's come around and pinned him in the side. So that's a, uh, a bonus of the snell rig that we use. You know, they might sometimes have one hook in them, but they'll either have two in the mouth or one in the mouth and one in the side. So yeah. Yeah, that's a nice fish. He put up a bit of a fight anyway. You know, all our other fish have been on the drop and they've just hit it as it's sinking down. But this one, I actually hit the bottom and clicked my reel into gear and two seconds later, it just absolutely nailed it. So that's the first time that's happened today. But um, could just be because it's getting a bit later in the day. They're, they're sitting right down near the reef. Who knows? But anyway, that's another nice fish. Very happy. So I just thought I'd have a quick chat to you guys about how important bite times can be. So we tried to get out here early for the uh, first light slash sunrise bite time, and it didn't pay off for us today. But I think that was just because of the area we were fishing. It can be a bit hit and miss, it's very shallow water. So we came a little bit deeper out to a different reef and the fish were biting here straight away. And you know, as I said earlier in the video, other good bite times for reef species and snapper in particular are tide changes. And that's what we had when we were getting all those fish. It just shows how important it is to be, uh, you know, in the right spot for those bite times. So if you have an area that you know is really good for, say, snapper, um, you know, you really want to be there for that peak bite time because we're fishing the exact same area. We're fishing it that hard right now. And uh, now that that tide change period is finished, they've slowed right down straight away. Um, so, yeah, they went from absolutely red hot. The sun was up to pretty much nothing at the moment and we're trying to make a plan of what we're going to do next but you know 
the other bite times for reef species are uh, you know your, your uh, sunset like last light and also I'm starting to learn a little bit about all this Saluna cycle stuff and the moon and moonrise moonset all that sort of stuff but I'll save that for another day definitely when they're biting you have to really get back on top of them again because they can switch off that quickly but anyway we're gonna try and get one more to finish our bag and um, yeah we're gonna have to grind to get it that's for sure but anyway stay tuned okay guys so that's where we thought the session was finished up we packed up and we're literally about to go home I almost had my fingers on the key to start the engine and then next minute something crazy happened we saw a massive fish and I ended up hooking the biggest fish that I've ever caught in my life other than a marlin and it was one of the craziest fights and craziest eats that I have ever seen so make sure you stay tuned to the next video I'm going to show you a bit of a teaser now a bit of a sneak peek but make sure you subscribe and stay tuned for next video because it's going to be the full fight and landing of this fish so yeah hopefully you enjoy it it's really exciting and not something that happens every day it was really insane so hope you enjoy it check out this sneak peek and uh thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video yep Get everything in. He's a big fish. He's a big, big fish. Oh, he didn't like the boat too. No. Much. No, that's Holy. Look at that, everybody.